Namaste everyone, Nicole Farrell here for Chena Yoga and thank you for joining me today. I am super duper 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 excited to share with you a new product and it is entitled Shakti. So Shakti, it is a play on words, yes it is, and it is a tea that is designed to assist you in balancing your sacral chakra. So um, Shakti, if you're unfamiliar with the term Shakti, I want to explain a little bit about Shakti. You may, depending on what culture you come from or what uh, area of the world you live in, consider Shakti in a different terminology, but Shakti to me is the primordial creative energy that we all come from. Shakti is creativity and creation and liberation. And Shakti is the divine feminine energy that flows through all of us. Your sacral chakra is the house of the goddess energy. And so that is the house of your Shakti. And in order to tap into that, you've got to make some focused intent into getting yourself aligned with that energy. And trust me, you really, really want to. So. When we're talking about this Shakti, it is a 13 herb tea blend. And if you're familiar with numerology, the number 13 is indeed the uh, number of the goddess. It is the number of the divine feminine. Let me take a second. So it's a beautiful color. It's a little uh, orangish, yellowish color on the tea. And it tastes really, really yummy too. So let's talk a little bit about the sacral chakra before we go into the benefits of the tea and why you want to utilize this aid for healing your sacral chakra. So when we talk about the sacral chakra, I want you to think about that area between your two hip bones. If you were to think about a skeleton and you know that little empty bowl area that sits between the hip bones, it's called the sacrum. That area, if you think about it as a bowl, sometimes I like to refer to it as like a little pot or a cauldron. And that area houses all of the energy of emotions. So when you think about your little cauldron, you need to think about what ingredients are you putting into your cauldron. You could be putting ingredients like emotions such as anger and resentment and hatred and jealousy and envy and sorrow. Or you could be putting emotions and ingredients into your cauldron like love and understanding and compassion, joy, creativity, inspiration, things like that can go in there. And depending on what emotions you're putting into your cauldron, what your brew is going to taste like. So if you have the more negative type of energies or the more negative emotions inside of your cauldron, it's going to be a very bitter brew and you're going to be a very bitter person. So you really want to uh, take a look and adjust those energies. What those energies do when you have those negative energies in there is they create a block in your sacral chakra area. Now, regardless of whether you are male or female, you, we all have a sacral chakra. Like I said, it is the place of creativity, it's the place of the goddess. That sacral chakra, it uh, governs your emotions, it governs your creativity, and it governs your sexual health, okay? So anytime we're thinking about those energies, that is all the area of the sacral chakra. So it's very important for us to tune in, to tap in, and to uh, balance that area. When we tap into the Shakti, that energy of the Divine Feminine, it increases all of those automatically. And it makes uh, it allows us to take more control of creating the life in the, that we desire, the life that we want, the life that we want to live just by being a creative being. We were meant to be creative. We were not meant to just simply follow orders and uh, look to others for everything. So whenever we're out of alignment, you, you have a creative block. So this is a 13 herb tea blend, like I said, and all of these herbs resonate with different parts and different aspects of the sacral chakra. The first thing that it's gonna do is, um, it's going to increase your energy, okay? So when it increases your energy, when you increase that Shakti energy inside of you, you're going to be a more creative person, more energetic person. Use that energy towards creating the goals, dreams, and desires that you have in life. When you have that abundance of energy, because that is what the goddess brings to us, abundance and fertility. Fertility, when you think about fertility, think about um, bringing birth to all the things that you desire. Don't just think about children. Think about all the things that you desire. Fertility is wealth and abundance, okay? So when you think about that extra energy that it brings about, think about how you need to channel that energy into what it is that you desire. Um, 
before we go any farther, if you have not taken my so my sacral chakra class, it is um, on the link that I've provided. And this tea is actually a very beneficial tool to use along with that sacral class because it's going to help you to bust through all of those blockages that you may have within that sacral area. So first of all, it balance it brings about increased energy. Now, when we talk about herbs, know that herbs are indeed the first medicine okay before there were any pills or any um any patches or any not uh, needles and shots there were herbs okay herbs come from the earth every medicine that you take in a pill patch or uh, injection form whatever way you take it they're all crafted after the benefits of an actual herb or something from the earth okay They've only taken and made a chemical reproduction of it so that they can slap a patent on it and sell it back to you. But everything that you need to be healed can be utilized and found in the earth. So these 13 herbs work directly with our sacral chakra. So herbs are our friends. They are friends and we need to add them into our life, okay? All of these herbs I utilized on myself first. I wanted to always try everything that I do on myself before I bring it out to you because I need to know that it works so that you can get the benefits and you can get the healing that I've already received, okay? So first off, we're going to increase our energy. Second off, um, like I said, it balances your sacral chakra, but the first thing it does is it balances those emotions. It helps us with emotional balance. And those, those emotions, again, being the ingredients in our little pot or our cauldron. Now, when we're going through emotional balance, know that nothing in life comes free. So it is going to require some work. So whether you're taking the class, doing some sacral work on your own, or whatever it is, when you take this tea and it starts to help you with emotional balance, it's, it's helping you to move through the blockages. Nothing is free. Nothing. Not even the breath that we breathe because our heart and our lungs have to work to get that prana in and out. Okay, It's a work. Everything is a process. You've got to work for everything. So if things start to come up and you know they feel a little uncomfortable, you've got to address them. You've got to heal through them by feeling them first and pushing through them in order to find that healing, that place of homeostasis, okay? Anything that happens in the body that shows up as what they call a disease is really a dis-ease within the body. It is your energy manifesting physically what that something is wrong it's like a check engine light going off in your car something is wrong ho ho whoa 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 okay you need to address this now because you didn't feel it and when i was showing it to you energetically i have to physically bring some type of manifestation so that you have no choice but to address it and addressing it is not simply going to the doctor and allowing them to slap a medicine in your mouth, slap a patch on you, and send you along your way. It's, it's, you got, it takes going within. It goes deeper than that, much deeper to get to a full and complete healing process. So we're raising our energy. We're balancing our emotions. Third, it's going to relieve um, stress and it's going to uh, relax you. So that helps you in moving through these emotions right it helps you move through the emotions when you're not so stressed out when you're relaxed it's easier to push through it's easier to allow yourself to feel and to allow yourself to heal so we've got increased energy we've got um, emotional balance we've got uh, relaxation and guess what ladies this assists with um, relieving menstrual cramps so if you are experiencing menstrual cramps this tea will assist you in relieving some of that that pain from those menstrual cramps but remember again menstrual cramps are um, a manifestation of something being wrong in the body could have been what you ate for the last month could have been what you ingested sexually um, any energetically it could be what you're feeling it could be the, the job you're working on it could it's everything that's housed in you is going to display out physically uh, according to what it is that you've done and what you uh, associated yourself with over that last month so this will help with some of the the uh the menstrual cramps with some of the emotions that come along with pms with some of the things that come along with your monthly cycle but it's going to do that so that you can go deeper and find out what did i do last month differently or what have i been doing every month that i need to make a change okay and last but not least it assists you with uh raising your libido especially in women so 
when I say raising the libido, don't think that it's just going to make you want to have sex all the time, which it very well probably could. But it's more than that. If you think about that Shakti, you think about that energy of Shakti, that is the energy of sexuality. And that is creation. If you think about what physical sex does, it creates a child, right? It's what it's meant to do. Now, on an emotional level, uh, sex does something different. And on an energetic level, sex does something even more grand. So when you think about that, that uh, raised libido, think about the fact that that is a, a energy of creation and harness it and utilize it towards your goals, dreams, and desires, okay? I will be honest, um, even though this is not a dream blend, I'm working on a dream blend, but this is not a dream blend. However, you will see that increased libido show up in your dream. Well, you could, I, I did and I have, and, and, and when you do, Take that crazy ass dream that you just had and dissect it, okay? Write it down in the morning because remember that the conscious mind doesn't catch everything. So your goals, dreams, and desires, are um, the universe is always presenting ways for you to fulfill those. But your conscious mind is so busy and distracted with all of these external senses and all of these things going around, uh, on around you that it misses things. But the subconscious mind, it misses nothing. So when it begins to communicate with you through your dreams, write them down, dissect them, figure out what it means to you, and push this increased energy and this relaxed state of being and this emotional balance towards your goals, dreams, and desires so that you can create a more beneficial life for yourself. We are creators by nature, okay? When we are not creating a life for ourselves, someone else is creating a life for us. When we are not uh, following our goals, dreams, and desires, we are following the goals, dreams, and desires of someone else. When we are not working towards our purpose or on our path, we are on someone else's path and working towards their purpose. So we are creators by nature. When we stopped creating is when we became more of a slave mentality. So we've got to get out of that state, out of that stagnation, start to mix up our cauldron, okay? Start to mix it up. And, di and, and dissect it and see what kind of ingredients that we have inside of it so that we can adjust it, so that we can provide balance, so we can pull out the things that we don't need, throw them away, get rid of them, and move forward. The last thing I want to say about the sacral chakra is that you may say, well, I think I'm doing pretty good, and, but if you've never made any attempts to heal the energy of your sacral chakra, then know that it became blocked when you were a child. The sacral chakra begins to form around the age of one and a half to two years old and it goes up until about the year of eight. That is uh, when the programming begins, okay? That is the program that begins and you were a child at that time. So whatever environment you were in, was the uh, programming that happened within that energy right there. Well, then as you go through life, you know, you start to add things yourself because you don't realize why you feel this, that, this way and the other because it was already programmed as a young child before you even had too many thoughts of your own programmed into your sacral chakra and the most important thing about the sacral chakra is that the energy that comes from there it goes to every nadi and every meridian or every energetic channel within your body every single one so every emotion that you're housing there any pent up sexual uh, tension that you're housing there any um, lack of creativity that you're housing there all of those blockages are affecting everything in your life and everything in your body so it's up to you to take time out to actually give some focused intent and this tea is an aid okay it's an aid like I said nothing is free but allow it to do what it does and I, I challenge you to get into my class or to get into some sacral work so that you can begin to address all of those things that are in the shadows so that you can know what it is that you have blocking you you can know what it is that you have preventing you from leading your best life to be leading the life that you desire from fulfilling all of those goals and those dreams that you have all right i really encourage you all to get busy this is the time this is the best time there's no time like the present and I just want to thank you all for allowing me to serve you. This is like one of my purposes along my path is to, to assist everyone on this planet with raising up their energy, with a, tapping into that Shakti energy, tapping into the goddess, balancing your chakras, and 
fulfilling your life so that you can understand what it is that you want, what you came here to do, who you came here to be, so that you can be happy and be fulfilled and be complete and find that state of homeostasis. So thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you for all the inboxes. Thank you for all the testimonies. Thank you for all the emails. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. I love you guys. I do this because I love you. Until we meet again, the divine in me bows in gratitude to the divine in each and every one of you. Remember that there is only one you, so you have no choice but to shine.